Lord Christ and in the name of the Mountain Brook Baptist Church. These, our church members, have gladly dedicated and are dedicating their time and talents that you may worship in the true spirit of Christmas. We ask that you be in meditation and prayer as you look and listen at these scenes so old yet ever new. Please do not turn on the lights of your car or leave before the service is over. Now may the God who came in the person of Jesus Christ at Bethlehem come into your heart afresh in these next few minutes. Long, long ago, even before the first Christmas, the worshipers of Jehovah God expectantly hoped for one to come who would bring peace and love to all mankind. In such a mood, the prophet Isaiah wrote, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled, and all went to be enrolled, every one unto his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be enrolled with his wife Mary, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. He shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they went with haste. King of the Jews. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse the far, field and found and more and all and following God.
And the shepherds came and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things that were told to them by the shepherds. frankincense and myrrh. in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. and reconsecrate our lives to the God who did not forget but came to our deepest need. Let us remember, though Christ a thousand times in Bethlehem be born, if he's not born in thee, thy soul is still forlorn. May I, in behalf of the membership of the Mountain Brook Baptist Church, 
wish for you a meaningful Christmas in which you have room for the Savior. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, as thou didst break in upon history at Bethlehem, so break in upon our consciousness that we may know thy real presence in our lives. Bless these thy children and make them a blessing. Bless their homes and churches through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and good night.